Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at Akeem Williams and Nathan Diasha. These are two of the top guns heading into this weekend's Arnold's Classics. I just recently did an Ian Valier, or Ian Valier, versus William Bonac, and it could easily be these two guys going for one and two. And of course, we're excluding Nick Walker from that entire conversation because I believe that he may he may leapfrog every one of them and he may, he may win the show and the other four gentlemen might be vying for second place but anyway structurally speaking these two guys similar similar certain differences you can see certain differences for sure but size wise mass they have it for sure Let's run through these poses. This is Akeem at the Puerto Rico Pro winning version, of course. And the Europa Pro for Nathan Diasha. And, of course, he took that title. So, these two guys winning champions. It's going to be a tight matchup. Akeem Williams in a pose like this, very difficult to defeat. Very difficult to defeat for sure. Both men similar in the wheel department. Except for the calves. Nathan Diasha, he has a lower inserted calf. And Akeem Williams... He seems to have a elongated shin bone, and uh, Nathan's is a lot shorter, so Akeem ends up having a longer lag, but not necessarily a longer, th a longer thigh. You see what I mean, guys? So it's it's difficult to size these guys, of course. As always, camera angle is a little bit different as well. I like the detail, muscle separation. I like the conditioning of Nathan Diasha. But that size, let's face it, guys, the judges probably will lean towards Akeem. Go to the front lat spread. This one could be different. Much like the front lat spread, or the front double, rather. Muscle separation, aesthetics even, I would go with Nathan Diasha. Look at that chest plate. Some of the best pecs in IFBB history. History. But anyway, Akeem Williams, he's got bigger lats. He's filled out a whole lot more. And in a lineup, the judges tend to shy away from the aesthetics. It's too hard to, you know, in a lineup to say, okay, well, that guy looks more aesthetic. You kind of have to go with the muscle. And it, it does look good for both guys in uh, both side shots. But it uh, for the judges, speaking of, of, I think, the way the judges would lean, probably towards Akeem. Side chest development. And, um... Yeah, that separation in Akeem's quads. Oh, just, un and don't don't get me wrong, take a good look at Nathan Diash's wheels. Genetically speaking, things of that nature, he probably just does not possess that muscle separation that Akeem has. Holding his far lag straighter here, I made Akeem slightly taller. They're about the same height, these guys. But of course, when one guy is bending at the knees more, <laughs> things of that nature... Akeem, he's known for massive arms, but if you look at the, the size of Nathan's biceps, triceps, he packs a punch also, and in the pec development as well. From the side, Akeem, though, just as big in the pecs. Maybe not from the front, but from the side, very good. Side tricep, there was no hoo-ha pose for Akeem, because he generally hits the hoo-ha pose position. But this is your standard side tricep, and Diasha usually goes for a hoo-ha. Usually goes for a hoo-ha pose position. Let's face it, guys. I think from the side, Akeem Williams is going to have an edge. From the front, it's debatable. It really is. But still, going from out of the front, out of the side, does look good for big, big Akeem Williams. Both of these two dudes are big. Back shots could tell a tale. Hmm, very interesting. I definitely like Nathan Diasha a little bit better in this one. His back, it's more complete. Lat insertions, things of that nature. Akeem's a beast, though. He's very wide. He does not have the genetic favors, the, the traps, the lats that Nathan Diasha has. Condition-wise, glute for glute, hamstrings, things of that nature where, nature where the conditioning counts. It's about the same. These guys are on the similar playing field as far as conditioning is concerned so Nathan Diasha yeah I would give him the rear lat spread but condition wise these guys are still in the same race look at the calf difference hmm? rear double bicep 
And this is a much better shot for Nathan Diasha. And this really shows you what I'm talking about. Now, look at the tops of the hips. Of course, Akeem's got longer legs, right? Eh, look at the quads. Look at the quads. They seem to be longer for Nathan Diasha. It's because of the shin. Look at the length of the shin bone compared to Nathan's on Akeem Williams. Very elongated. Very elongated. Stork-like. Stork-like. Anyway, uh, I guess if you're going to compare it to an animal, I guess a rhinosaurus or an elephant, I guess if you guys call them the big gray animals, the big giant ones, they would have big calves. Big, huge calves, actually. But all due respect to Akeem Williams, he has the delts here. Look at the size of them. And he has the, the hamstrings, glutes, things of that nature. But everywhere else, lower lat insertions, even in the traps here, calves. Nathan Diasha is your winner in both of the back shots. But make no mistake about it, I am not penalizing Akeem Williams for lack of conditioning. Abs and thigh. And this is a Nathan Diasha pose. Several of them have been Nathan Diasha poses. But I'm looking at the score sheet. And all aesthetics aside, I still think Akeem Williams is maybe too much as far as uh, the, the size is concerned. Condition-wise, muscle separation, Nathan Diasha all the way. In this pose here, like I said, in a lineup, Akeem Williams, he definitely doesn't suck. Look at his silhouette. I mean, every little detail, things of that nature. Sure, Nathan, better set of abs. Looks a little drier as well. But anyway, that's that's say that's a point. Maybe even three points for Nathan Diasha. The last three shots have been his. Go to the most muscular, finish this one off, and... I was thinking Akeem up until the back, but was it enough for Nathan Diasha? Getting the abs and thigh also might have been enough, but who's winning this one? Looks like Akeem's twice as wide. But then again, like I said, sizing, very difficult. Very difficult venture indeed. Akeem's spreading eagle a little bit more. Both bending at the knees, so I'm not so sure a bent at the knee spread eagle is any shorter than a just straight up bent at the knee. I'll have to do, do my homework on that. <laughs> anyway, I think Akeem Williams is he's making his point here in the most muscular that if he is winning on points, I think the judges still would give it to him based on the fact that the conditioning was very similar. So I'm not going to show his picture here to create controversy, but you guys know how I feel about this one. Akeem Williams probably will place ahead of Nathan Diasha. But if this was a straight-up Mark's Max muscle comparison I think I might prefer the aesthetics of Nathan Diasha to tell you the truth but make no mistake about it I am leaning towards Big Akeem hit thumbs up on the video both of these guys have a chance to win the Arnold's Classics Ohio few other gentlemen Walker of course of course Ian Ian and William Bonac hit thumbs up guys subscribe to the channel for more comparisons like this one heading into the Arnold's Classics. You still have Sergio Oliva to deal with and a couple other guys. Have a great day.